The nudibranch is a group of animals with around 3,000 species, and there are two types of them, a dorid's clade and a aeolid's clade. The dorids have a branchial, also known as gills, that look like they are plumes that cluster around the animal's rear, and the fringes on their mantle have no intestines. The aeolids don't have a brachial bloom, but a serrata, which are growths on a nudibranch's back, which aids in respiration and defense. They are both venomous. Nudibranchs eat animals like sea anemones, sea fans, jellyfish, and the Portuguese men of war, and their sting cells are transported from the digestive system into their serrata. These animals are marine gastropods that do not have an outer shell. They are actually quite beautiful, coming in a variety of amazing colors. That serves as a warning to predators that they are a little bit toxic. It's called being aposematic. You can find them all around the world in temperate, tropical, and arctic regions. A good thing is that they are harmless to people. These animals can live in depths of around 30 to 8,200 feet, and different species can have a size range of microscopic to one foot long and can weigh three pounds. For some reason, this animal's name means naked gills. It doesn't really make sense with the way the animal looks. Their eyes have a lens and five photoreceptors that are in the body. They don't have the most complex eyes, only being able to tell the difference from light and darkness. These animals have both male and female reproductive organs, and their mating ritual is basically a dance. They will lay their eggs in a gelatinous ribbon, and they can lay up to 1 to 25 million eggs, with the blue dragon being the only species that guards their eggs. The eggs are also toxic, and when they hatch, a larval animal with a shell emerges. The lifespan varies from species to species, from a few weeks to a year. Since they don't live for a long time and are very slow, these animals have to mate whenever the opportunity shows up. Good thing they are hermaphrodites. The radula or tooth tongue is used to scrape away the animal's prey items from rocks, which include sponges, coral, eggs, sea slugs, barnacles, and enemies, and hydroids. Their food doesn't only give them their toxins, but also their color. They will also eat other nudibranchs. The blue dragon also turns the algae that it eats into their own food, putting the algae's chloroplasts into their serratas, which allows them to have photosynthesis. These animals can be bright or can look similar to their environment for camouflage due to pollution, degradation, habitat loss, and climate change, which causes a decline in biodiversity. It's making many species very rare. All animals in their native habitat are important and need to stay, and these guys are very important in the ecosystem because of their role in the food chain.